Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use dynamic tiles and why can they be useful. So, let's make a very simple map, chapter 18 outside and it will be about dynamic tiles. So the Solaris the Solaris engine is made to support very large maps with a lot of tiles uh like thousands of tiles or even more and it's fast because individual tiles only exist when you open the map file in the in the editor but at runtime they are optimized they no longer exist individually, but they are somehow transformed into um, a few images and into collision masks. So you can make you individual ties like this are optimized away at runtime. This is why they don't they cannot have a name never you cannot uh access them from your script from your real script but sometimes you maybe you still want to do that to access some tiles from your real scripts for example to activate something uh dynamically or to move a platform <coughs> Let's let's say for example that we want to show a ladder um when when the player activates a button. So let's make a switch with the a link to the, a link to the past switch sprite and its usual sound. So, and let's say to our save game that we want to start on this map. Okay. So for now, when you start the map, of course, the ladder is here, and the hook can can pass. And what you can do is right-clicking an a tile and make this action convert to dynamic tile so you should make it for all three tiles and now it's no longer a normal tile it's a dynamic tile it has more options here in particular it can it can have a name and since it can have a name you can access it from the map script and do anything from there like hiding it um disabling it moving it a lot of things are possible so let's call this ladder tile and uncheck enabled at start same thing for the other ones so s since names are unique actually the second one is automatically rena renamed to ladder tile 2 and <coughs> the third one to ladder tile 3 <coughs> and now we remove the enable at start option so they are not enabled and there is no way to traverse the wall okay So let's say to our map script that oh, that when the switch is activated, so we need a, a name for the switch, ladder switch, it will be on 
activated. Play a sound. Ta -da 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 -da. Secret. And more importantly, uh, there is this function set entities enabled that can change the enabled state of several entities at once actually all entities that have a common prefix and the prefix is ladder tile true okay and it works okay great so as you can see um, you know the rule when when uh, several tiles overlap no matter if they are dynamic or not dynamic it is uh, the one that is uh, the most in front this is the, the topmost one that wins so when the ladder is disabled we cannot traverse and as soon as it gets enabled the player can traverse it so it works let's make a second example and even more interesting you will see so um <laughs> not dungeon 18 chapter 18 dungeon I set uh, dungeon blue music. Mm. Well, oh yes, dungeon light world. I will use this template of room this example because um, we will make a, a water pool in in this map something like that maybe okay okay and Okay. <laughs> and a door. Okay. So now we will start here for the second example. So this will be a water pool with a chest um, with a chest in it and there will be <coughs> some stairs stairs should be like this actually oh this is interesting so this one is an obstacle this one is traversable and this one is also an obstacle but I, I don't know why but in the French version of the tutorial I have a, an, an old version of this tile set and all of these all of these three ones are, are only one single tile pattern which was not correct because like I said those ones should be should not be traversable but this one should be traversable anyway and well, the most important tile is this the water so this is a semi transparent tile the same exists in opaque mode if you prefer But this is much nicer, right? Let's try this. OK. 
okay and if the player has mm, what it might just go if the player has the flippers we can we can test that we can enter and leave the the water pool correctly okay <clears throat> and now let's make the button ah we will call this water switch um we also need I forgot to check what happens when there is no water so because we need um, a stairs entity here uh, and this is explained because I would be stuck here in the low layer <coughs> right there are two layers used in this map so um, this is explained in the chapter about platforms. So a stairs of type inside a single floor, so platform stairs in facing direction left because um, upstairs is left, is to the left. Okay. And when we add the water, there will be a small conflict between the stairs and the water. Because we, as soon as we are touching the stairs, the stairs animation starts. So it, it still works because it is in inter correctly interrupted by the water. But we still hear, we still can hear the sound of the stairs. And I prefer just like this, yeah. To fix this, we can remove, um, disable, I mean, the stairs when the map starts. <coughs> uh, which one is it? Dungeon. So, when the map starts, Stairs set enabled false. So I called my stairs object just um, stairs. So this should fix this this little problem. Okay, now we are jumping into the water. as always with with water so it works and let's make let's finally make our button um, it will be similar to the first example except that this for time we will play the sound water drain and um, set entities enabled so this time there is only one tile and so let's make it con converted in dynamic tile and let's call this just um, water tile maybe enable a start is true so as there is only one entity to enable or disable, we don't have to call the, this function that takes a prefix, but we can simply do this, set enabled false, and also let's enable our <coughs> stairs back. Good. 
now you can put whatever you want in this chest. Um, okay, that is for... Oops, <laughs> code blocks, no. For this chapter, um, there are a lot of possible improvements to this water system. You can make a system that um, gradually removes the water and to do this you would need several successive dynamic tiles of water um, smaller and smaller rectangles of water and you can use timers to enable them and disable them su um, successively but we will see timers in a future chapter um, okay I hope you appreciate you appreciated this video and feel free to give a like it's always appreciated thank you bye